So as you saw in the previous clip, I blew the fuse and that's because uh, I was on a hurry and of course I did everything so fast that I didn't do it correctly and uh, thank god I had the, the fuse that blew and uh, uh, not anything else so blew. Because the fuse was blown I used my power supply and I supplied the DC input of the amplifier with some voltage and the, the current uh, on the supply went up immediately which uh, means only th the only thing uh, that uh, the power pack uh, is uh, shorted and indeed if we measure across those two pins the pin 2 and 3 we've got a short well which is actually logical because if we check the uh, power pack pin out and uh, if we check the pinouts, uh, the two and three pins are the pins connecting to uh, the negative uh, PNPs, the negative uh, Darlington PNP transistors. And these transistors got sorted, got sorted. And actually, uh, the previous resistor uh, was blown, the negative side resistor was blown because on the positive side we had almost zero volts. And while that uh, uh, negative side PMP Darlington uh, got sorted, we had current flowing from the positive, uh, from the one resistor, from the positive resistor to the negative resistor into the minus 40 volt rail and that uh, blew the resistor uh, on the output and didn't blow the fuse actually, which is actually quite strange. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is uh, to uh, replace the power pack and these power packs are quite expensive, they are like 10 euros each power pack, but we're gonna order the power pack and uh, uh, replace uh, the old power pack uh, with a new and test again with a new fuse. Always when you do repairs you have to double, double check everything uh, patiently before you do anything wrong and blew other stuff. That, that's what I learned from this repair. So let's uh, remove the old, uh, uh, the old power pack and we are going to uh, finish the video replacing it with the new power pack. So as you saw in the previous clip I removed uh, the old power pack and actually now it's after one month of the previous clip and uh, the first uh, video, the part one of the repair was actually two months uh, from uh, uh, this moment and as you saw uh, the Darlington, the new Darlington pack arrived, that's the new pack. I also uh, bought uh, some fuses uh, for uh, the fuse that blown and hot sort and we're gonna try to solder back uh, the a new power pack and add some thermal paste and screw back the uh, Darlington pack and we're gonna test with the power supply but before we uh, uh, replace uh, the power we pack, have to check if uh, those uh, two transistors before uh, the Darlington power pack are short because if they are short uh, if this, for example, I'm saying that if this transistor is short, we're gonna have uh, plus uh, 40, 41 volts uh, on that pin and that will open those uh, two transistors and we're gonna have um, amounts of current coming from uh, uh, the positive side and also from uh, on the negative side if we have short, we're gonna have a short between this point and uh, at uh, minus 41 volts and these transistors are going to open. We have to uh, first check if those transistors are good and they are not sorted and also check the, uh, the voltage references here uh, for the current source and the basically this voltage reference if it's good uh, because uh, uh, we had short and if we don't have a short 
uh, we can uh, safely replace the uh, Darlington pair and the Darlington pack and try to test it with the power supply. So these transistors are actually this one and this one. Uh, this is the uh, TR212 and TR210. And if we change the these camera, transistors are actually this one, this one right here and this one right here. So we're gonna check if those uh, transistors are shorted and we're also gonna check uh, the diode and uh, the resistor. The diode is uh, uh, 20, uh, 24 is this diode. So we're gonna check if this diode is not shorted or open or uh, shorted basic. TR212 is the current source. So let's check that's open also from base to emitter. We'll so we don't have a short and from emitter to collector that's open so with this transistor is is not uh, if we check the diode we need to check between base and r24 4 so let's check between the base the base and r20 r24 and that is not short and if we check the other way around for the diode 194 so it's not shorted and we also have the diode drop all right so that's it. that is, is not short and let's check the tr uh, 21 uh, zero which is the um, the voltage uh, amplification stage the transistor so let's check between base and emitter we've got the the drop base to emitter nice and also 0. between base and uh, collector we've got the drop and if we check the other way around it's open so these transistors are good let's check the resistors uh, 24 4 should be uh, around 91 48 should be uh, 100 almost 100 emitter generation resistor 252 should be 100 252 is this one should be 100 ohms almost 100 ohms so uh, we check the diode the diode is not shorted which is uh, actually good we check the true transistors they have nice measurements and we checked the resistors too these resistors are not blown so we can safely uh, clean up the thermal paste and put a new darlington power pack Because some pads are broken here as I see, I'm gonna scratch the surface a little bit, put the pin a little bit closer, you know, I'm gonna scrape and I'm gonna solder the pin at the copper, at the exposed copper because I see here that uh, some of the pads are broken. Seems fine. So. This side I'm going to solder it normally and this side I'm going to uh, put the pins and solder them. So let's solder this. Nice, that's cleaned up. And I'm going to press it down to the solder. There we go. First pin. Second pin. So let's add solder. Let's clean. All right, that seems cleaned up. <clears throat> All right, and let's check if we have any shorts between the pins. First, there's no pin, no beep. And on the second side, on the other side, no shorts. We don't have any shorts. Now we're gonna check uh, if we have shorts between the rails and then we're gonna uh, put, we're going to put the uh, power supply and see if everything works as intended. Nice, no short between the rail and on this 
have no shorts no shorts very nice so i'm going to connect the two power supplies that i have in series and we're going to supply with a few, with uh, a little bit of voltage and see if we have any current spike and if we don't we're going to connect it straight to the plug and see if it works the plus of the of the one and the minus of the other plus here on the dial the bridge rectifier minus on the other and we're gonna slowly increase the the uh, voltage and see if we have any current draw so we are uh, 20 volts uh, 20 volts on the positive and 20 volts on the negative and we have uh, uh, 300 milliamps uh, which is actually uh, pretty much better than the previous uh, the previous voltage oh it's actually symmetrical we've got 100 100 milliamps on both of the supplies I've got the two supplies here at 24 volts into the rectifier and we've got pretty stable at 30 volts so maybe let's uh, input the signal so as you see I've connected the oscilloscope at the output resistors of the fixed uh, uh, line that we did on the fixed channel that we did and I also am putting uh, signal on the left channel uh, from my phone and as I increase the volume on the channel that we fix uh, we've got uh, the power supplies connected into the power input and uh, as you see uh, we don't have uh, crazy amounts of current and we also have a nice signal at uh, the channel that we fixed I'm changing the volume and we've got some clipping at uh, clipping as you see we've got clipping at around 40 40 volts peak to peak which is actually fine so we're going to replace the fuse and uh, try to power it up and see if we did a nice so fix. i've got the power supply disconnected and i bought some fuses to replace the the fuse that was blown and these are slow fuses 2.5 amps the exact uh, the exact amperage as the previous fuse so we can safely add i'm checking for voltage uh, if any capacitors is there we go fuse is back let's check that we've got continuity nice and we are going to see if everything's fine and we're gonna power up just for safety uh, let's measure the power rails if we have any shorts between the power rails or the ground so we don't blow up the fuse again yeah. plus and ground and the capa we've got ol we had a short at the start because the the big capacitors were probably discharged between ground and minus ol and between the two Capacitors are charging and we've got all the while. So let's power up and see what's going on. So I connected the, the plug. Let's power up. And nothing blows up. Very nice. So let's power down again. Relay closes and if we power up again. everything is working fine and so let's uh, uh, input a signal and check the output so as in part one I'm feeding the signal uh, from my phone from the auxiliary input uh, in uh, uh, mono mode so I get uh, uh, both inputs in so let's power up As you saw previously, I again had a problem. I replaced uh, the new Darlington uh, in the clip before. And as you saw, I tested it with my power supply and everything went well. But when I uh, turn it on by using the plug in the outlet, uh, the uh, 
uh, amplifier worked for a few seconds, did something, some strange uh, signal stuff on the oscilloscope and it sorted again the, the pins, the uh, low side PMPs as in the previous one. And as you see, uh, that happened because actually if we open up the Darlington pair, look at that. That's the Darlington pair I bought. And as you see, if you read about this Darlington, it says that it can do 50 watts of power. Okay, I don't know about these big transistors that it has here, but look at the middle ones. The middle ones are SMD SOT transistors, and these transistors are rated for around uh, 150 milliwatts or something. And if you wanna, if you wanna drive big transistors like this, and even on uh, low impedance um, speakers like 4 ohms, uh, this is gonna get really hot and there is no way, uh, I, I think there is no way uh, to drive high loads with this. It, it's, uh, it's by no means uh, 50 watts and these transistors are rated for one, uh, 150 milliwatts. So probably this is a, uh, this is a counterfeit part. It, it, not probably, I think it's, it is a counterfeit because if we check the picture that I'm gonna put in the moda, in the modas uh, with a genuine one, you, you're gonna see how beefy, how, uh, beefy transistor it has. And actually, I didn't do anything wrong because as you, you can compare to the previous clip, I moved the one Darlington, the one that was working on the other side and if we power up, uh, it works just fine and I'm gonna power up right now, relay clicks and I'm gonna put a signal at my, at my phone right now really quick and this is the, the channel that was uh, having the, the bad Darlington. And so I moved the, the good Darlington for the good, from the good channel to the bad one. And as you see, it works just fine. Just fine. And I actually uh, tried to do this with a load, 8 ohms load, and it works just fine. As you see, we have no distortions, uh, no strange uh, clipping and stuff. And that's it. So, I actually didn't do my research uh, about this part, but uh, if you check a lot of uh, audio forms, uh, there's a huge issue with those uh, parts and you can't actually find uh, a good uh, Darlington transistor, uh, transistor power pack and most of the people uh, go the DIY uh, way and just uh, bought a, buy uh, a module uh, that has uh, surf, uh, that has uh, through hole components like the two uh, SC five two hundred the Toshiba ones and they build uh, their own Darlington pack uh, using the street components and I think that is going to be uh, the solution for this problem I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, stay tuned to the channel because I might do something about this issue. Maybe I will uh, build my own uh, pack, and uh, we will see. We will build a own. Uh, we will build our own part, uh, our own pack using discrete, discrete transistors. So that is the repair. As you saw, the repair failed, and this time it wasn't my fault as before. But that's it. I'm gonna catch you in another one. Goodbye.